The innovation team here at Swindon has been set up to look at new technology. We've always had a history of innovation within Royal Mail, from the earliest computers and also the earliest sort of transportation solutions. So I'm really excited that we've now set up a, a team to look at new technology and how it links into our operation today and how we can transform that operation for the future. The main challenge we were given at the outset was there's a lot of non-value add activities that we're currently performing, such as pushing the walks around manually. So we want to try and make the company as efficient as we can for today, but also keeping an eye on for up and coming technologies that we can leverage for tomorrow. We've invested a huge amount in parcels technology. We've now currently got 21 parcel machines across our estate, and we're looking to put a further 20 in uh, over the next few years. So what we've done here is recreated the parcel sorting machine, a subsection of the parcel sorting machine, to allow the supplier to add the robot so they can demonstrate to us that uh, it works, it performs, before we uh, obviously roll it out. What we've got here is a, an accumulating line which takes a steady flow of parcels to the workstation, which is behind me. The workstation has been modified to provide a smooth flow of parcels to the robot. The robot picker then places though, picks the parcels up, places it on the induction line. This unit measures the length, width, height and weight of the parcels. And this ensures that we don't feed any parcels that could damage the sorter. This section also reads the barcodes and that's to make sure that the new robot that we're testing hasn't in any way damaged the parcel or the barcode. In Royal Mail operations, we have a large letter sorting machine and we call that the top 2000. And the top 2000 requires trays to be fed into it from a roll container we call the York. That task is currently done manually uh, and it involves manual handling and lifting and twisting motions. So what we're testing here is the use of the collaborative robot or cobot to remove the trays from the York and place them on the roller conveyor. By automating this task, we reduce the risk of injury to that person by reducing the need for manual handling and lifting and the twisting motions. We also increase the efficiency of the machine as it enables the operator to focus on feeding the mail into the machine. In raw mail operations, we currently spend a lot of time and effort moving roll containers or yorks uh, from one place to another. So to automate this task, to reduce the need for manually pushing Yorks around the mail centre, we're testing the use of AMRs, Autonomous Mobile Robots, to move the Yorks around. The challenge with the AMRs is finding a suitable method of attaching the AMR to the York, navigating through a busy mail centre to where we need to take the York, and then releasing that York at that end location. The motivation for developing these new technologies is we need to transform Royal Mail from a letters-based company that does parcels to a parcels-based company that does letters. So with the advent of the um, uh, COVID and online shopping boom, uh, the amount of parcels the company has to handle is um, increased dramatically. And because you don't get so many parcels in a container that you do letters, the volume of containers has consequently gone up and so therefore the um, amount of money that we're spending on this manual operation is significant and so automation seems to be the way forward.